Another animal rights group is walking back part of their calls to have Lucy the elephant moved to a sanctuary after a group of international vets were able to come to Edmonton and assess the Asian elephant. <laughs> Sometimes called the coldest elephant in the world. Zoo staff not disputing, with Lucy only able to go outside when wind chills are below minus 20. Edmonton is not meant to have elephants. The decision to bring her here was made back in the 70s, and the world was a different place. If somebody waved a magic wand and she were to get better, I am sure we would look at all the other all the options again. Part of the zoo's licensing requirement means outside vets look at Lucy every year. This time animal rights group Free the Wild who had previously called for her to be moved bringing in three vets and one elephant expert. The results split. Two vets saying she should stay while the third believing she could travel if it is planned carefully. The expert saying the only thing keeping her from travel. The fact Lucy only breathes through her mouth, the only recorded elephant to do so. We run into some problems where she gets out of breath really quickly. For the last decade, vets baffled, unable to figure out why, because the only way to test would require putting her under anesthesia. Because she's a mouth breather, when she loses the, that conscious control over her breathing, she can't oxygenate her body, she does not breathe through her trunk. So uh, sedation and anesthesia are extremely risky. Free the Wild now agreeing with the majority of vets over the years who do not recommend travel for Lucy and praising the Edmonton Zoo staff for their commitment to all animals. But local activist group Leap highlighting the one vet who suggested moving Lucy in a statement saying, we can say finally that with proper training, with her present zookeepers at her side every step of the way, she can be made ready for this journey. The alternative is to spend the rest of her life in a place unfit for elephants. But the zoo pointing out this goes against the majority of experts advice. So let's focus on how can we ensure that she gets the best life possible while she's here. Saying they are working on implementing recommendations from the panel on medical care, improving her enclosure and air filtration, and a change in diet that has seen the previously obese elephant lose over 700 pounds. Free the Wild says they will continue to stay in touch with the team here at the Edmonton Valley Zoo to monitor Lucy's health. But the zoo recommitting once again today, Lucy will be their last elephant. And already she's in a form of retirement where she has no fixed schedule and less public exposure. From the Edmonton Valley Zoo, Carly Robinson, City News.